What's happening, y'all? You already know we cannot go a week without having some bad news about Call of Duty. Today, it's no different, ladies and gentlemen. Get your foot pedals ready, crack your knuckles, maybe get some popcorn, and let's dive right into it. Drop a thumbs up and let's see that what the homie so got to say. people are grasping at straws and looking for things to talk about, something that's going to bring them interest in this game. Not only if you're a content creator, but if you're a fan, if you're somebody who's playing the game casually. I'm sure playing this game has gotten extremely, extremely stale. And I've talked about this with seasonal content multiple times, but the reason I'm making today's video is for two reasons. One, because there is absolutely nothing to talk about in Call of Duty terms. And well, I'll say that is not wrong and these are actual facts and the situation here is that i don't know what's happening with call of duty it's some of the craziest thing ever that they have made billions and billions of dollars yeah pump the brakes they have made billions and billions of dollars with this game they make it every single year and this year has been or last year i should say 2022 modern warfare 2 is the best selling game of all time warzone 2 they came out with warzone 2 dmz is something that most people are loving right now i'm not sure if they're loving right now or not but you, you let me know in the chat because basically no one is talking about call of duty it is almost as though this game doesn't exist no one is talking about it there's no content season one came out yup had two maps but two remaster maps and we're also hearing that season two will happen and this time it will also have two remaster Bruh. maps Two remaster maps. Damn you, Activision! You greedy motherfuckers! I'm trying to make a fucking living here, and you greedy corporate can suck on my fucking 18 inch fuck! Multi billion dollar company cannot even give us like two brand new maps. I really hope that rumor is false. I hope we at least have one new map. But again, I'm asking for one new Bruh. map one new map for a multi-billion dollar company it just doesn't sound natural y'all y'all see what i'm saying man hey, teen, call of duty has absolutely fallen off in terms of interest in terms of enjoyability maybe not in terms of sales but definitely in terms of how many people are actually enjoying their time playing this game and the other thing i wanted to talk about was some season two related news all we know is that it's coming out in february Ow. and that's pretty much it we have some rumors that i've talked about with museum and with castle from world at war and vanguard and i've already talked about that but the vanguard Vanguard? Van Garbo? What? I was aware, I was aware that we're gonna be having like two remaster maps, but I was not aware that it's gonna be Van Garbo. Bumbaka! Season 2. It's about Season 2 Reloaded. And according to Tom Henderson, Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 slash Warzone 2 Season 2 Reloaded is currently scheduled for March 2nd. Now, look guys, admittedly, Bruh. this isn't the worst news that I've heard about Season Reloaded content. I mean, I don't remember what it was like for Season 1 and Season 1 Reloaded. Stop the cap! I don't remember what the time gap in between was. Certainly, in games like Vanguard, we were looking at like a month and a half to two months between content drops but i will say for the sake of the gooch lickers that get aneurysms every time they think i have nothing positive to say about this game emotional <laughs> damage what the hell is a gooch licker my guy this little piece of news is not all that bad because we have definitely seen worse i don't think this is good news at all because seasonal content is just not my preference you know i'd rather have the developers and a portion of the community have an iq above a bendy straw but you know what i think at this point i guess what he's trying to say here is that the game is not good enough but it's also not bad enough where we can actually meme on it it's not good enough to the point where we are addicted there's constant content the game is kind of like mid <laughs> there's no bap there's no sauce there's no boom there's no pow there's literally nothing happening right point, now. that might be asking a bit much because a lot of people might be hyped up about some news like this personally if season two is coming out february 1st and season two reloaded is coming out march 2nd with the current track record that cod has i don't think we're getting any massive update because they're having yeah. these two updates come out just a month apart and if we've learned anything about season one of this game or all of vanguard it's that more than likely we're getting one map in the season and then another map for the reloaded update and this is the point i was trying to make in the beginning of the video at this point i have lost so much interest in this game that it doesn't facts, hype facts. me up that these two updates are coming out just a month apart as opposed to a month and a half to two months apart and judging by how season one went we've yet to see an original dlc map so i have no idea if this map that we're getting for season two would be man any good man see what i'm saying bro no original content bro what what's up with that this guy oh, oh, this I'm shaking. guy used to shake and it's been a minute since i played uh oh my god guys i'm shaking oh my god oh my god oh, i'm shaking i'm shaking it's been a minute since i played that meme why i stopped playing well we don't get content Bumbacat. we don't get any content guys like uh, the last time when we got content it was just like remaster maps that's that's all what we're getting we're talking about three years three three thousand devs we were under blame truth era and i was telling you we are under emo blame truth era so prepare they're gonna be labeling us you and me and him everybody that asks question as toxic and problematic and we were labeled as Bruh. toxic gamers now the emo blame truth era is gone man just went crazy 
even on a vacation. He just left the scene. Uh, he always leaves the scene because January, you do not make that uh, dala dala build, that chatter on YouTube. Very smart on him. I'm strong. I'm independent. So, of previous rumors, we might still not get any original DLC content for all Damn. of season two because the current rumor was, last that I saw, was that we we're getting museum back in the game and then castle from Vanguard. If history repeats right. itself, which it usually does, we're getting two maps and likely they're not going to be original. And if they are original, maybe they're not all that good. So already, like I said, I'm not interested. I have zero hype for season two. I have zero hype for anything going forward in this game or even in Call of Duty in general. And this is what happens with seasonal content. You kind of just shoot yourself in the foot because people will lose interest just like I have. And if there's anybody like myself and thousands Bruh. of other people out there that went outside for the winter break, you go out, you live your life, you come back and you realize that- What? You went out for a winter break? Who does that? Nobody. This game is a lot less interesting than you thought it was before. Toxic Gamer! But you know what, guys? There is a way to spark up at least a little bit of interest again, at least from my perspective. And this oh, is where oh, I want Gooch oh, to really put the brakes on because I know some of these guys are quick to say all these things about the Scab Master, not knowing that sometimes I have feedback, sometimes I have constructive criticism. Even if you think I sound uh, wrong, wrong, you're just a toxic and uh, strong, independent gamer. Negative all the time. I'm saying things that a lot of people agree with. I'm saying things that a lot of people want. And this isn't me trying to appease to any of the cavemen out there. All right, still to this day, I think you would eat Bobby Cosby's ass lips. But for the sake of me trying to prevent some fume coming out of your ears, I want to pull up this tweet from Marksman because it perfectly embodies some of the things that I've been saying for the longest time okay. when it comes to seasonal content, when it comes okay. to the content drops, and when it comes to the content that we have currently in this game. A couple of days ago, he tweets at Infinity Ward saying, hey, for season two, can we get like four new maps in multiplayer? Four new maps? Are you out of your goddamn mind? We're talking about a billion dollar company. They do not have enough money to make four maps, bro. Like, four maps, who are you? Are you 12? Are you 12? Hey, Infinity Ward, for some uh, season two, can we uh, get like four new maps in multiplayer? I know there's at least high rise qu <laughs> query Afghans uh, showdown and dome in Al Masra already, and MP only has 10 maps. Bro, see Bomba cut. See what I'm saying? VS Call of Duty players. And by the way, I'm not attacking the homie marksman. I'm not attacking anyone. I'm I'm not even attacking myself here. Bruh. I'm gonna attack myself. Let's just do that. <laughs> but listen, man, VS Call of Duty players, we have set our standard solo. And for the longest amount of time, I'm not sure for how long you have been around, but I have been saying. And it feels better when I say it that I'm a defeated gamer because I truly am a defeated gamer. But but bro, for how long I can stay a defeated gamer? Right? I have accepted defeat, but but our standards have fallen so low, so low as a player base that we're asking for four new maps. This is something we used to get. We used to deadass, deadass get four new maps. Now we're asking basically for the same, but then we're kind of degrading ourselves and we're like, oh bro, like give us a, give us remaster maps, give us remaster maps. And surely high res query, Afghan showdown, dome, these are good ass maps, bro. But I also do want to see new maps. Remaster map should be like a bonus, right? Like, like, uh, hey, hey, you go, okay, uh, guys, you're killing it. We're making money. You're loving our game. You know what? We love you back. Let me give you extra content. That's basically what it is. It's like me saying, hey, man, you smash the like button. <laughs> I give you extra content, okay? Like, uh, I'm not talking about that type of content, but, but you, you understand what I'm trying to say, Bruh. right? Or maybe you don't, but my point here is that you like the video, I love you back. It goes back in hand in hand. You, I, I'm not even asking for monies, right? They, you pay them $70, $100, and they still don't give you any content. Season two is gonna be coming out with two remaster maps. One from World at War, and uh, is that what he said? I don't know. But one is from Van Garbage. That I know he said. That I know he said. Corey, oh, hell Afghan, yeah. Showdown, and Dome in Al Mazra, which is the Warzone 2 map, and multiplayer only has 10 maps. Nine maps if you include that nobody plays Border Crossing, which is <laughs> facts. We need more 6v6 maps. Bomba and I think that God. is the perfect bottom line. We need more maps. <laughs> if we get like one or two new guns, honestly, I'm happy. If we get new raid missions, you know, if, if that's your thing, that's cool. If you're into DMZ, one or two weapons. One or two weapons. Sound like that. That's some copium. Sounds like a defeated gamer to me. Sounds like a defeated gamer. And I was like him. I am still like him. But I'm a defeated gamer no longer. For the longest amount of time, I said that I'm a defeated gamer. And being defeated and accepting this mindset will change stuff for better. It does not. The, the, the more you try to give your finger to them, they will try to reach for your entire hand. I'm done being a defeated gamer, man. Shut your s***! We have been asking for some bare minimum content. I'm done being defeated, man. You get more content, that's cool. If you're into spec ops and you like sleeping, then you know what? Maybe if you get more content there, that's that's cool. Personally, the only interest I have in Call of Duty and have ever had in Call of Duty with the exception of zombies is multiplayer. And you cannot deny the fact that in multiplayer MW 2019 part two, the most advanced Call of Duty of all time, we Three are years. being blue balled. 
severely. Yep. The entire community is completely dehydrated, and we have nothing in terms of interest for Fast. this next season because of what you've shown us for the last few years. The more you know, ladies and gentlemen, we have been blue balled. Bro, I've seen people say this in my comments before. If you think it is asking too much to get four maps in a single season, including the reloaded update, personally, I think you need to stop being the Twister Wizard for Bobby Cosby and Joe Seacock and really think about it because back in the day, we could get four maps in any DLC pack and it would be exactly, perfectly yeah. fine. If the maps weren't that good, well, guess what? It doesn't really matter all that much because we have Exactly, my guy. In exactly. Back in my days, we used to get four maps. Four maps. And now we get like what? I, I get it, it's free content, but come on, man. Even Fortnite provides new and original content. Can't you give us like one new map? I know I'm setting my standards low. Up the standards, up the standards, up the standards. One new map and one remaster map. Bruh. Is that too much, guys? Come on, man. In this game, we only launched with nine. One got taken away, and one of them is Border Crossing, and nobody's playing that. Not to mention that majority of the launch maps in this game are literally just Warzone 2 locations. And adding on to that, some of the Warzone 2 locations are just MW2 maps. So why can't we have those MW2 maps? Or they were just busy designing those flags and put those color color flags on the game. That's what they were making. MW3 the, or some top four maps added into this game as remastered maps. Because if you think giving us another map like Border Crossing or Tarak or giving us random remastered maps like Castle or even bringing back Museum, which should have been here at launch, is going to spark anybody's interest, then you got everything twisted because that's yeah, not going to happen. The only way I see Activision and the devs reeling us back in, if you've lost interest for this game, is for in season two to give us four maps. That's right, mm. four maps. One remastered yeah. map that's actually good, not Castle, and three good original maps that are nothing like Ramaza, Azir Cave, Piccadilly, Tarak, or Border Crossing. If we can get that, I don't care about the guns, I don't care about the game modes that come in, I don't care about the operators, I sure as hell don't care about the bundles, if we can get four maps. I'm convinced this guy's not a Call of Duty player. I am convinced he's not a Call of Duty player because a Call of Duty player knows that it's gonna be like Tarak. It's gonna be like, the maps are gonna be like Tarak. And it's gonna be like border crossing and it's gonna be like that bro. Bumba Ladies God. and gentlemen, we have ended up getting some new information about the next Black Ops game with some leaked images. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left. This guy claims that he's in the year 2027. He captured some footage, released some footage. This is on my second channel. Click on that and I will see you right there.